Promoter Fest, Pro Settings, you boys know the drill. All right, Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. Uh, back when I had my R33, there was a guy that used to hang around with us. We had like a ton of cars roll with us, but he had one of these. It was a little over a thousand horsepower at nitrous. It was wild. The thing was so fast, but um, this actually surprised me in this game. It's very grippy. Um, you'd think that with how Corvettes are, this, the rear will be really slidey. This thing's very fast, grippy. We made it turn in better. We made sure the rear stays planted in the corners. This thing is an absolute beast. Uh, if you saw my top 10 for Street Tier 2 of what we tested so far, this is uh, pretty high up the list. So let's do Pro Settings, Grand Race. We'll get out of here, all right? So look, Pro Settings. Brake balance, 67% front, all right? It improved the braking going more towards the front. Doesn't really throw out the rear, so we're gonna keep it. Arrow, load front, negative eight, okay? Suspension, springs front, 8% stiff. Rear, negative six soft, all right? We had to keep it planted. Damper compression front, 9% stiff. Rear is a negative eight soft. Damper rebound front, 14% stiff. Rear is a 10% stiff. Roll bars, maxed out, 10% stiff up front. Negative five soft on the rear. Camber, negative 20 up front, negative 15 in the rear. This thing's good to go. It's fast. Go get it. I've had it ever since launch. Uh, I've had it since the crew, too, and uh, I've been seeing a lot of people use it, and I was like, let me try it out. It books. It shits and gets. Anyway, you know the drill. Subscribe. Come back. Check out the Grand Race. See you on the next one. All right, we got the ZR1 in Street Tier 2 and the uh, Lamborghini Veneno. I had to quit the last race because these these Alpha GP people, man, they couldn't drive. I couldn't stay in that lobby. It was so bad. I got wrecked five times. Couldn't do it. And we're switching right here. Brakes, hard on the brakes. Now I've seen this car a lot and uh, I owned it. It was imported from the crew too. And I figure, why not? Let's uh, try it out. It was actually fairly grippy stock, and uh, it would give out a little bit in the corners, so we uh, we fixed that. Now it's just a beast. I take a cut here. I just uh, did 20 challenges in the dream car category, so I uh, put the dream underglow and smoke on this thing plus the horn. It doesn't matter what you what you're driving or how much you uh, tune oversteer out of it. When you're going uphill on corners, it always gives out. I thought the smoke usually only comes out when you're, you know, smoking the tires and you're losing traction, but this is all the time. You see how snappy this thing is in the corners? I guess this thing really is one of the best. It reminds me of the Ford GT, how that like really like turns in. It's the same behavior. Not bad. Even with our few mistakes. Nobody's been able to catch us. Grab the gutter. Of course, the rear is going to give out when it does that. All wheel drive doesn't really have that issue, but front engine rear wheel drive? Yeah, it's a problem. This thing is, uh, I'm not a huge, like, vet guy, but this thing is damn good. Actually, back, uh, when I had my Z, there was a guy that had, like, a 1,100 horsepower ZR1. Looking stupid fast. Look at that. Then we're gonna tap. That's fine. And close to the end here. Ain't nobody catching us. Nobody even got close. So I'd say the Veneno and this uh, ZR1 are pretty good.
kind of like the like the blue smoke coming off of it. It's a cool effect. All right, first place, Veneno and ZR1. Stamp of approval. Thing's a beast. Liberty Walk, not bad. Second place, who is that? Huracan. 